What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, John Fake Gabriel here. Welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon X. This is not Pokemon X, but the Pokemon Ultra Moon Gen Lock. How are you guys doing today? We're going to do a quick team recap before we take on the Totem. We get two encounters today, so that's fantastic. As we got Jonas with a Smackdown, Protect, Magnitude, Glow Kick, Green Bird with Searing Shot, Side Beam, Hex, and McCall Mine, Daddy in the Champ with Storm Throw, Break Break, Snatch, and Cotton Card, Champion with Aqua Jet, Ominous Wind, Brian, and Bounce, Papa with Dark Pulse, X Scissor, Dizzy Punch, and Play Rough, and Zayden with Thunder Punch, Shadow Sneak, Steamroller, and Water Fall. So we have two encounters before we head in to the big scary. Um, but we will be getting Charizard, which means after this episode, it's, we'll be having our encounters episode. And I am very hyped for the encounters episode. I am not going to lie. Encounters episode just feels like it's going to be amazing. Um, I already know encounters episodes are fun. So we'll have a big, big fun encounter episode here. Um, so first things first. We're going to go ahead and get our Route 7 encounter, as hopefully it is really good. I believe it could be. It has. I, I believe it has the potential of being a good Gen 4 Pokemon. I think I am going to go ahead and lead with Papa, because I feel like Papa is kind of our best option for this kind of stuff. It hits the weakest out of anybody on the team. Um... Even though, I mean, I mean, Fiona actually might hit the weakest, but I don't trust Fiona, let's be fair. Who who in their right mind actually trusts a Fion? Um, <laughs> I hate to say it, but honestly, if we get another Gen 4 Mon, it will be, Fion's going to be the first Mon to be replaced. If I'm, like, because I literally have not used it, technically. I still have not brought it out at all. So, yeah, if anything, that's going to be the Mon that gets replaced if we get a good Gen 4 Mon. As our Pokemon is a Spearow. Okay, well, at least I can catch that very easily without having to worry about anything. Positive. Positive, anybody? Um, Forewarn. You forewarn play rough. That's 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 great. I'm glad that you're worried about a move that literally can't kill you. Um, okay, we're going to go ahead and grape ball you. You should be able to get caught in one ball. You're, you're a Spearow. If you don't get caught in one ball, I'll be a little surprised. Um, as there we go. Easy as that. Spiro has been caught, and we are going to name this Spiro. Daddy's level 25. Let's go. Daddy wants to learn Swagger. I think Daddy's already got that Swagger, though. Let's be fair. Bruh, okay. This has been such a... I've been so weird with my Machamp, honestly, though. It's been hilarious. Um, Okay, so yes... Well, oh, you're a Pokedex one. Dang it! That means I could have, like, stalled out and seen if you could... Saw if you could drag down Pokemon. That would have been great. Um, but we are going to go ahead and give you a nickname. We are going to give you the nickname Lydia. I spelled that terribly, but that's okay. We spell things terribly over on the Gamer Duo because we literally can't spell to save our life. If I was in a spelling bee and had to like do something good in a spell... Oh wait, we already know you have forewarned. What am I doing? I don't care about your moveset. All I care about is the fact that you have forewarned as an ability, which is not that great. and doesn't make me care at all in the slightest. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and go to the West Volcano Park, where we could have something good, but more than likely it'll just be more hot garbage. Um, we have not gotten any good Gen 4 mons, and it's making me mad. I want a Gen 4. Gen 4 is my favorite gen. That is a dupes. We can't use that, which is honestly totally okay with me. Um, also, we actually can play rough you. I'm actually going to try and level up. Like I said, we want Papa to evolve sooner rather than later. So if we can get Papa getting close to evolving here, that would be great. Um, Zayden is level 27. We don't want many Pokemon to level up that much, though. You're a trainer that I can just avoid. As okay, come on, get something good this grass. We, I know we can do it. Gramble, you know what? That's generation two. Again, <laughs> my God, who would have thunk that the generation that I would have picked out or grabbed the most of is generation two? Like, if you were to tell me that by the three out of eight, three eighths point in the game that the mons that I would have the most of is Generation 6, I'd be like, oh, hell no, you're lying to me. 
And yeah, no, it's that's literally the case. Um, it's kind of funny. Um, if I if I were not if, if I'm not gonna lie, that's kind of that is kind of hilarious. That out of any generation, that's what we've had. So, oh great, you have weak armor too. Another weak armor, Mon. Um, hate yourself in confusion. Hate yourself in confusion. Hate yourself in confusion. Damn it. Oh, headbutt's gonna hurt. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and switch into a mon that I think can take all that the most, and that would be um, Zayden. Only because I was gonna go in to Machamp, but then I realized you're part fairy, and if you have some sort of play rough or something like that, then I'd be in trouble. Um, sludge. Oh, that does nothing. That's great. Um, I'm glad that does literally three damage. Um, oh, that was a crit, but you got the poison, because of course you did. Um. Oh, 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 oh. Dang it! I was that could have been a, that could have been freaking amazing. Um. I was like, oh, you're calling for help. We'll take it. Um, but we should be able to catch this. I think we have an antidote because we used the Aaron strategy and bought five freaking antidotes to save our life. Um, because Aaron is a genius when it comes to that. I would have never even thought to, like, have that many antidotes on hand. But Aaron was like, you know, like, you always want to have, like, a decent amount of antidotes. No, 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 no. We don't, we don't care. We care about our Pokemon, but we don't use the care option there. Um, okay, we registered our Gramble. Um, why do I feel like somebody likes Gramble? Somebody does, and I'm going to make somebody very... I'm going to name it Sadie. Because... Or Sandy, not Sadie. Sandy. Because I saw a tweet the other day, and Sandy was so excited because she was talking about how she felt really welcome in the community, and honestly, I was very excited. I was very happy that she had the warm welcome, like in the MZ with the weak armor ability. Um, not a bad mon. We're going to send you the box for right now because I literally can't utilize you because you're Gen 2. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why were you a Pikachu? <sighs> that about gave me a heart attack. That about gave me a freaking heart attack. I thought that we could have potentially lost our... Yes, we do have antidotes. I thought for a second we could have lost Zayden. And Zayden would have been a Pikachu now. And I would have been kind of upset. Not going to lie. I would have been very upset if that was the case here. But, so now, because I know we're not going to be fighting any trainers, I am going to go ahead and put Machamp in the front of the party. I think Machamp is going to be best for this totem. I... Still am nervous as the totem is going to be level 24, maybe even 25. So we may be on par for this totem, which is kind of, not going to lie, it's kind of nerve-wracking. But um, honestly, sometimes you have to take things on nerve-wrackingly. And that's what we're doing. We're taking on the totem that always wrecks me under level. Because why the frick not? And I wouldn't even say we're under level. If, if the trial's level 24, um then the ace is or if the trials of 24 and our ace is 27 that's still that that's fine um but i'm like this could be so bad for me right now um oh boy watch carefully and memorize the dance do boom 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 hmm, hmm. i forgot what it's wrong it's the middle marowak right I think they're all technically in different positions, but like, the, all we have to fight are the three. Oh God. Hi, you better not, for, that better not be foreshadowing what's to come. Cause that's, it's kind of hilarious that it's a freaking fire ghost type though. And I'm not gonna lie. Like the Pokemon choice there is hilarious. It's like naturally the one Mon that pops up is the freaking fire ghost freaking thing. But, 
that's still a scary mon to be fighting right now because it's frail as all can be. Entrainment. Oh, God. Thank God. We take that. Okay, we're going to go ahead and magnitude you to death. Hopefully. Flame Torch does nothing. That does nothing. Yeah, 18 damage. Go ahead. Up your speed. You don't have beast boost, so you're not as scary. Um, you know what is scary, though? Freaking nine tails with the freaking beast boost. Um, Jonas gained 728. Level 26. There we go. We take that. We take that. We take that. Um, does that mean that Daddy's going to be level 26 as well? No. Jonas is higher level than Daddy the Machamp. I would have never guessed um, that that would have ever happened. I, like, barely use it. Um... Then again, it was also used in an episode where I, for I forgot about the freaking XP share uh, being off, which, go figure me, <laughs> only John would forget the freaking XP share being off. Um, oh, God, do we literally fight? I just realized, I think we fight Solaria after this again. Oh, wait. Oh, God. Please show me again. I didn't see it. Um, the hiker was in both of them, I believe. Oh, Hiker smiling. That like that, wait. Oh God. Oh, that we that, that we fight the trainer. Okay. Um, and you have a Skarmory. Of course you do. Oh God, this is well, this has been hilarious. It's like. All these references. So, actually, I'm going to talk about this reference because this reference is kind of flary. So, I was, uh, Charizard, Mega Charizard and I were joking around about, um, like, random locks that, like, we should do. And I was like, oh, well, maybe, you know, it'd be kind of funny if we did a thousand lock. Um, which is basically your team can only consist of Pokemon that's above a thousand. Or not above a thousand, but... Uh, in total is a thousand or below base stat total and I was like well I that's easy I get Skarmory and Swamper jokingly right like I wasn't even I was literally intending to make a joke then I was curious and I looked it up Skarmory's base stat total is 465 which is great right that gives you room for a Swamper because they have 535 base. <laughs> it's like, I was literally like, oh my god, I literally picked two wands with exactly a thousand. Didn't think I was doing that. I literally was like, I was like, oh, I'm probably too high. I'm probably like 1,045. No, no, I was, I was, I was spot on because I'm John and literally, of course, I was spot on. Um, you know, I just realized they don't heal you again. Um, like this game takes care of you in so many ways and then it just doesn't in others. What's different? The totem Pokemon's different. Okay, totem. Don't be hard. 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 Are you kidding me right now? You're, you're kidding, right? This is where... We're, we're not fighting a plus three freaking Verizion. Oh we are. We're literally fighting a plus three defense Verizion. Oh okay, there, buddy. We can't do anything with my champ. Um, it's green bird time. Or pop, because Papa can't take it on. Oh my God, no, 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 no. Oh shit. Um, bruh. This is why I'm scared. Aaron, if you're watching this video, this is why I'm fucking scared for season three. Oh my god. I literally have nothing for this. I have Green Bird. But, what is that other mod that's gonna be sent out? This is the totem that kills. This is the... Oh, fuck. oh, my God. Why, 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 why? Rock Smash. Okay, that's going to do nothing. That's quad-resisted. 
Please send out another fighting type. I would literally be so happy. Why do they counter themselves so perfectly? Yeah. No way. These two mons literally work with each other the best that a pairing could ever work with each other. A Haunch Crow, a Dark Flying type, and a Grass Fighting type. Are you actually serious right now? This is not real. Um, I'm going to go ahead and call mine and hope you don't go for a physical dark move. Needle Arm, that's going to do nothing. No physical dark move. That's all I ask. Be a special dark move, and we'll be okay. I think we'll still be in a scary spot, even if it's any form of dark move. Assurance. That's a physical dark move. I asked for a special one. Nah. Fuck me. We've, we we might lose. We this this might be this might be the end. Um. Because. I'm trying to think of any way we can avoid not dying here. 53 speed, okay? Fuck, it's the fastest one on my team and it wasn't faster than the Verzeon. Shit. Um. Oh God. Um, we're sending in Papa. We have to. Oh my God, this is bad. Of course you got a physical dark move though too. Like, couldn't be a special dark move. It had to be a physical one. I'm gonna go ahead and attack this Haunch Crow. This Haunch Crow is the thing that needs to get out of the way the most in my humble opinion. Oh my God, that did so much. Come on, get this Haunch Crow out of the way, please. Let's go, okay. Got the Haunch Crow down. Um, honestly, I don't think Shearing Shot would have killed anyway, so. Um, a Champ's level 26, Champion's level 23. I've got to hit you with a play rough. It's the thing that's super effective. Um, Verzion's using Rock Smash. That could, like, lower my defense and give me up. Boo-boo. Fuck! Why did I even say that? And you're going to call in another Pokemon, too, here momentarily. Because you can do that. Um, I'm going with Tamp. And here's why. If he calls in the Haunch Crow, which I really hope he doesn't. Oh my god, that did so much Dell. He's gonna call in a Haunch Crow at some point. It's going to happen. And my Gen 2 Mon's the one that died. Crap. You're going to hit five times, because of course you are. Oh my god, really? Allow me to cotton guard and be fine, okay, please? Just allow me to cotton guard. Yes! Sap Sipper, we'll take it. You tried the needle arm, I have Sap Sipper. Okay, that's a positive. Let's go ahead and storm throw, and hopefully be fine as arm thrust is going to do way less damage now and we can handle that but you're still your haunch crow is what i'm worried about because you can still pull out a haunch crow at any second and a, wait a crit goes through the defenses though oh my god oh i'm so lucky i thought about that i'm so lucky i thought about that oh shit i'm like sweating right now we Unfortunately, lost Green Bird. That's death number two of the series. So we gotta find a mon to replace Green Bird with. But, if we look on the bright side, we get to add a Gen 2 mon, another a different mon. But Green Bird was such a great mon for the team. Although, Pop is about to evolve. 
honestly have no idea what mod I would necessarily think about adding to the team right now. Um, if I'm going to be straight up honest. That could have been so bad. Uh, that really could have been. Um, luckily, I kind of used my strategic st strategic thoughts and processes to my advantage here. Um, God damn, a Verizian. Like, this is not getting easier. And what sucks, right, is we have a totem, right? We have a totem, a new totem, literally in two episodes from now. On top of the fact that we have a forced legendary totem right afterwards. So, like, ugh. We're not in this. We're not in a good spot here, um, but I will go ahead. We have Charizard now. Actually, it's three episodes from now because we have an encounter episode. Because thank God we need it. Because um, we have the Pinola fishing spot. We have, and then we have the spots in the first island that we never got to adventure. Um, so. I am definitely, I'm definitely very happy that we get to kind of experience some new things. If that was Pinola Ranch, is, is there like Pinola Town? There it is, Pinola Town. Um, I went straight to the ranch. Um, but yeah, we got a Pinola Town encounter. But yeah, so we're going to go ahead and pick our Mon, though, that we want on the team here. He had Steelworker, too. You were such a good Mon. But that accounts for the second death in the series. But now we got to pick a Generation 2 Pokemon. We've got Slugma. Clefa, but you're going to be a Generation 1 Mon. Col or Culpa. Again, Sandy, I'm going to be straight up honest with you, Chief. Um, ladies and gentlemen, we're, <laughs> we're adding Sandy. Um, Sandy's got a good move set, weak armor. Like, if I can just deal with weak armor, which I feel like I can. I did it throughout the NU run and sword. Like, we should be fine. Like, I'm adding Sandy. Sandy seems the best, seems like the best choice, and that's what we're going to go with. So, we're adding Sandy to the team. We're going to go ahead and, while we're in the PC, put our Swampert back. We're going to have a fully evolved Papa and Sandy trained up for the next episode. But I appreciate you guys being here so very much thank you guys so much for watching make sure you like comment subscribe and we'll see you guys in the next episode